three children to be. The game are at it again when it turns out that Mel Gibson's character, who Sly thought he had killed, is still alive and determined to kill the Expendables, Sly lays off the lot and recruits some young people who he pretty much intercepted on the way to a Mission Impossible film or, or something. And they, yeah, they, they kind of dominate the movie for a while, even though they really don't fit in the whole Expendable thing. And I suppose I shouldn't actually give away what, what happens after that, but we do get some some stuff with the aging, which I could say gracefully so, action stars. This one has the least to really <laughs> doors into the theater. The, the action is over too quickly and anytime it's hand to hand, it's cut to, you know, the, it's filmed in close-ups and cut too fast so you can't really tell what's going on. There's also too much stuff. There's just, the action isn't as over the top as we'd expect it to be. The best moments do easily come from whenever there's conflict between some of these stars and, and icons. Mel and Sly are awesome together. There's this one scene where they're in a vehicle together and it is so tense. And, and Gibson always, you know, screen presence really very compelling to watch. And Harrison Ford comes in to be a CIA guy and he and Sly also face off and it's this yeah, again, very, very tense and, yeah, meat on those bones. And Snipes and Statham have this thing of, they've both known each other, they've both known Sly for a real long time. They're both really good with knives, and they've both been Expendables members for a real long time. But none of that at the same time. Snipes is from way back, and... Yeah, so him coming back in, it's this thing of, yeah, there's this really cool rivalry going on between them. Other than that, I mean, the dialogue's bad, the, the puns are just awful. This tries to be a drama at times, and it really does not work. And the, the young team, I like them. I would, I would watch their movie, but this isn't it. This is the movie that they're hijacking for a while. And then, yeah, this one doesn't have that many big action set pieces other than really, arguably, the climax, which he pretty much just stole from the movie. Won't give away which. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.